Hello everyone. Welcome to the revision class series of financial accounting 6. I shall start the revision classes from the last chapter that is final accounts of banking companies. I have already explained in detail theory part as well as format of preparing final accounts of banking companies along with few questions. I will share the link of those videos in the description box for your convenience. Please go through those videos before referring to the revision classes. Now in this video, let us solve one question where we have to prepare balance sheet along with the relevant notes. I will read the question now. From the following balances of Vishnu Bank Limited as on 31st March 2016, prepare balance sheet in the statutory form. Paid up share capital, shares of Rs 100 each, 20 lakh, bills discounted 18 lakh, reserve fund 7 lakh 70 thousand, cash credits 20 lakh, overdrafts 8 lakh, unclaimed dividends 10 lakh, loans 46 lakh, current deposits 38 lakh, furniture 40 thousand, Profit and loss account credit balance 2,20,000, stock of stationery 10,000, cash in hand 5 lakh, cash with RBI 13 lakh, branch adjustments which shows a debit balance 1,70,000, investments 9,50,000, borrowings 12 lakh, recurring deposits 10 lakh, fixed deposits 20 lakh, cash certificates 10 lakh, contingency reserve 1,70,000. Additional information is given. First one, rebate on bills discounted rupees 10,000. Second one, provide rupees 80,000 for doubtful debts. Third one, acceptances on behalf of customers rupees 6,50,000. So these are the informations given in the question. Now let us discuss where this item should appear. That means under which note number we have to show each of these items. Okay. Now coming to the first one, paid up share capital. As we have discussed earlier, it should be shown in note number 1, that is under share capital. Now the second one, bills discounted. So here bank has discounted the bills of the customers and it has given the bill amount, okay, after discounting the bill. So it should be taken under note number 9, that is advances. The reserve fund, it should be shown in note number 2, that is under reserves and surplus. Cash credits is a kind of advances. So again, it should be shown in note number 9. Overdrafts is also kind of advanced, so it should be shown in note number 9. Unclaimed dividend is a kind of other liabilities, okay. Current liability should be shown in note number 5, that is under other liabilities and provisions. Then loans, again it's a kind of advances given to the customer, so it should be shown in note number 9. Current deposits, it should come in note number 3, that is under deposits. Then furniture, it is a fixed asset, so it should be shown in note number 10 under fixed assets. Profit and loss account here, they have given credit balance, so it should be shown in note number 2, that is under reserves and surplus. Then stock of stationery, it should be shown in note number 11, that is other assets. Okay. Then cash in hand, it should be shown in note number 6. Cash with RBI, also note number 6. Branch adjustments, here they have given debit balance, so it should be taken in note number 11 under other assets. If at all they give credit balance, then it should be shown in note number 5, that is under other liabilities and provisions. So here they have given debit balance, that is why we are taking in note number 11, that is under other assets. Okay. Then investments, we have to show in note number 8. Borrowings, note number 4. Recurring deposits, it should be shown in note number 3, that is under deposits. Fixed deposits also, note number 3. Cash certificate also, it's a kind of deposits received from the customers, so it should be shown in note number 3. Contingency reserve, it should be shown in note number 5. Okay. Now, additional informations are given. First one, rebate on bills discounted. As we have discussed earlier, rebate on bills discounted is nothing but whatever the discount or the interest amount which you are going to earn during the next financial year, it has been received during the current financial year. It is as good as income received in advance, so it has to be adjusted to the profit and loss account credit balance. Now, what is the adjustment required? We have to deduct rebate on bills discounted amounting to 10,000 from the credit balance of profit and loss account given here, that is 2,20,000, okay? Then, the second additional information is given, provide 80,000 for doubtful debts. Again, it is also a kind of adjustment to the profit and loss account. So far, they do not have provision for doubtful debts, but now they want to create 
the provision for doubtful debts to the extent of 80,000. Again, it should be deducted from profit and loss account. Then the third adjustment they have given acceptances on behalf of customers amounting to 6,50,000. So here it's a kind of contingent the liability because if the customers honor the bill then there is no liability for the bank if at all they do not honor the bill then the liability will arise for the bank so it should be taken as contingent liability and it should be shown in note number 12 okay so these are the adjustments we have to do in this particular question now let us see the solution here we can see the different notes to the balance sheet starting with note number one that is share capital as we discussed amount of 20 lakh share capital is shown in note number one then note number two is with regard to reserves and surplus under this we are showing a reserve fund of seven lakh seventy thousand and profit and loss account this one lakh thirty thousand is after making the adjustment the adjustment the working note is given here okay first we have to write profits the credit balance as given in the question that is 2,20,000. So what are the adjustments we have to make? First one, rebate on bills discounted to the extent of 10,000. And the second one, provision, sorry, provision for doubtful debts, 80,000. So together, 90,000 has to be deducted from 2,20,000. Remaining balance we get is 1,30,000. So that has been added to the reserve fund to get the total reserves and surplus amounting to 9 lakh. Then note number three is with regard to deposits. So here we have shown current deposits, recurring deposits, fixed deposit and cash certificates. So together note number three is 78 lakh. Then we have note number four that is borrowings. We have 12 lakh. Then we have note number five with regard to other liabilities and provisions. Here we have to show unclaimed dividends to the extent of 10,000. Contingency reserve to the extent of 1,70,000 and whatever the rebate on bills discounted we have deducted here the same amount has to be shown here as a other liability because uh, when we prepared the, the fin final accounts of companies also we have to show income received in advance as a other liability so we are showing this rebate on bills discounted under other liabilities okay it's a kind of current liability. So the total of note number 5 that is other liabilities and provision comes to 1,90,000. Then we have to prepare note number 6. Under that we have to show cash in hand 5 lakh. Cash with RBI 13 lakh. So together we have 18 lakh. Okay then note number 7 is with regard to balance with banks and money at call and short, short notice. In this question they have not given that adjustment so you can just skip that. Then note number 8 is with regard to investments. So here they have given amount of 9,50,000. Then note number 9 is relating to advances. Under that we have to show cash credits amounting to 20 lakh, overdrafts amounting to 8 lakh, then loans. Out of this loan amount, 46 lakh, we have to deduct the provision for doubtful debts. So the remaining debts we have to write here. That is 45 lakh, 20,000. Then bills discounted so this amount also we have to write here that is 18 lakh so total of note number 9 that is advances comes to 91 lakh 20 thousand then note number 10 is with regard to fixed assets we have given we are given only one fixed asset that is furniture amounting to 40 thousand then note number 11 is with regard to other assets under that we have to show stock of stationery amounting to 10 thousand branch adjustment which shows a debit balance 170000 so together it comes to 180000 so after all these 11 notes as a footnote we have to show contingent liability that is acceptances on behalf of customers amounting to 650000 so this is a working note the main format comes here so on the top we have to write the name of the company that is vishnu bank limited in the next line as on 31st march 2016 okay so here in the first section we will be showing capital and liabilities note number one is with regard to capital we have already calculated what is the total that is 20 lakh then reserves and surplus 9 lakh deposits 78 lakh borrowings 12 lakh other liabilities and provisions 1 lakh 90 thousand so whatever calculation we have done here from note number one to five these totals have been shown here okay the total comes to 1 crore 20 lakh 90 thousand okay this is the total of capital and liabilities now we have to show the second section that is the notes with regard to assets that is note number six cash and balance with rbi 18 lakh 
balance with bank and uh, money at call and short notice note number seven it does not have any amount in this case then investments nine lakh fifty thousand advances ninety one lakh twenty thousand fixed deposits forty thousand other assets one lakh eighty thousand so here from note number six to eleven when you take the total it comes to one crore twenty lakh ninety thousand so our balance sheet tallies okay but after this we have to show two more items that is contingent liabilities note number 12 we have 6 lakh 50 thousand one more item bills for collection it does not have any note number but in this case they have not given amount also this is the solution for the present question i'll come up with the next video where we will solve the question of preparing the balance sheet and profit and loss account along with the relevant notes which usually comes for 24 marks that's it for this video thank you for watching